Dolgen here, Poseidon. Good stuff in here, yeah. Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. We are searching for where to eat in Hilton Head, South Carolina. In this episode of our Hilton Head travel vlog, we visit Poseidon Coastal Cuisine that many say is one of the best restaurants on Hilton Head Island for traditional South Carolina low country seafood. This is a popular spot for low country seafood, their raw bar, cocktails, and fun along with offering some amazing views of beautiful scenery. They have a great big outside bar on their first floor, then they have a raw bar inside on the first floor, then they have an upstairs bar that's also a lot of fun when they have some good music going on and they also have some great scenes to be seen. So definitely you wanna check this place out around sunset to see the beautiful views you get with all the great color changes that you can see from this great spot. It is constantly popular with people though, so getting a seat can take a while, so make sure you plan accordingly, as it definitely is a popular hot spot in the area. So Poseidon is part of a larger restaurant group, and they do seem to own quite a few restaurants in the area, but all of them seem to be very well run. So as you can see, this place is chock full of people, and we're gonna head outside now and look at the outdoor bar here. So this probably seems to be the largest, most popular bar they have. And then let's go upstairs and they'll have uh, live music up here with a cover charge some nights. So you can come up here and you'd have to pay to stay. But if you get up here and there's not a live band, they do have a great wraparound patio area. And there's some great views to be seen up here as well. So this is uh, probably my least favorite bar is this one here. One night that I did see a cover band, it wasn't that great of a band. I hope they do have better bands on average. But this was a little too techno disco club for my taste inside. The outside area though is a lot better. And uh, definitely they had the same basic beer selection, drink selection at all the bars they have in here. So um, definitely uh, it's very techno though. So as you can see, Disco time. Once you get outside, some beautiful views to be seen and much more enjoyable to my taste. And I had a lot more fun on the wraparound outside patio here than I did on the inside disco bar area. So this is uh, definitely a little more my speed right here, looking out, seeing those beautiful sunset colors. And you've got some nice spaces up here to enjoy yourself. And uh, in the back corner over here, Get a nice comfortable view of their sign from this couch area and you can kind of see out and see all the other businesses in the mall area and then the indoor raw bar area is probably uh, one of the better spots to be at especially if you want any raw oysters or sushi this is the place to really get it as fresh as possible and get the finest available view of what you're going to get they did have a really excellent selection of raw oysters and i was really uh pleased with that and then if you're in the mood for sushi, they make it right here in front of you. So it's all a good little uh, area to be able to get everything you need. They also have a full bar and then you can sit there and watch your sushi or raw oysters being prepared. So this is a great spot if you're a lover of all things raw. And let's take a look at the menu now here and decide what we're going to order. So you can definitely tell you're in a tourist area as they're heavily marketing their take home liquor and beer glasses. So if you have any desire for any type of take home drink where they definitely can help you out with that here. So they have a good selection of beer and bottles on draft, specialty cocktails and a wide variety of other alcoholic beverages. And we have our raw bar selection with chilled or steamed shellfish, oysters on the half shell and uh, sushi selection. So a pretty decent selection of items overall and then their grand shellfish tower to top it all off. Then we have a selection of appetizers with a fried green tomato caprese, margarita flatbread, crispy duck wings, hush puppies and honey butter, BLT flatbread, Rhode Island calamari, Poseidon beef sliders, baked Gulf Coast oysters, West Coast memento cheese dip, tomato pie, hot blue crab dip, then soups and salads, with the soup of the day, sheet crab soup, New England clam chowder, and a wedge salad, a main salad, a pickled beet salad, a baby kale Caesar salad, a Poseidon salad, a 
Baja salad, a side salad, and then your selection of dressings. Then we have Poseidon's Fresh Catch with Atlantic Salmon, Grouper, Hawaiian Big Eye Tuna, Mahi, Daily Fresh Catch, Choice of Style, West Coast, Gulf Coast, Mediterranean Coast, East Coast, and Naked Beach. Then we have Steamed Seafood with Frogmore Stew, Low Country Boil, Alaskan Crab Legs, Coast to Coast Combo, Fried or Broiled Seafood with a Fried Seafood Collection, a Broiled Seafood Collection. And we have our fried clam strips, fried oysters, flounder, local shrimp, and sea scallops. And you've got some uh, choices with your side dishes. Then we have another selection of drinks with wine with our whites and reds. And then we've got a menu with happy hour drink and food specials. And I'm going to kick off with a margarita and see how it tastes. <laughs> Let's see how this works out for me. I'm ready to get a little booze in me before I eat some food. Prost! Slanjava! Cheers! Salud! A little margarita! Awesome! <laughs> Next I had to try the copper mug with a Moscow Mule and see how that is. So the margarita was cool and refreshing and this uh, copper mug I think is going to be even more so. Yeah, there's nothing like a nice metal glass and a hot day to cool you down. So definitely uh, I've enjoyed both of these drinks so far. Now the person next to me got a little order of sushi, which looks interesting. And I got Poseidon's Fresh Catch, the Mahi Mahi Mediterranean Coast style. So the vegetables look really interesting on here. The Mahi, I'm not quite sure about how I'm thinking about how they've cooked this. So let's give it a little taste. I am very impressed with all the vegetables here, but the fish is the main event. So let's give it a sample. Um, I am very underwhelmed. This is a very bland piece of mahi. This might be the uh, most bland piece of fish I've ever had, ever. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. They definitely could put more seasoning on it for my uh, taste preferences. So, hey, give me a little of the Tony Satchers here. We might be able to salvage it. Uh, overall, it's um, okay. Uh, it's very, very underwhelming uh, fish flavors. Not getting a lot of uh, that really nice grilled flavor I typically get out of grilled fish, so it's okay. Um, I think the vegetables are way better done. The vegetables are certainly the star of the plate. Um, all of these vegetables are going together very nicely. They've been all prepared excellently. So I'm very happy with the vegetable preparation. I would just say the main focus of the dish would be the fish though, so that kind of is a little off balance. Um, the fish certainly seemed to need a little extra kick to it that I didn't get, but hey, my flavor profile is New Orleans. This is the low country style, which is definitely way, way, way more bland than what we do on the Gulf Coast in the New Orleans area. So, so it's a little different thing, but then this is uh, certainly unique even in the low country area, I would say. This is definitely much different kind of uh, preparation of fish and seafood than I've ever had anywhere in the Carolinas even. So it's a nice healthy preparation for these vegetables. Um, so I would just want a little more flavor with the fish is uh, the only feedback I would give. Other than that, I'm quite satisfied with the vegetables and uh, it is a nice healthy dish here. And uh, my last little bite here now I've completely destroyed this plate of food, so go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this plate of food. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account, because hey, I work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. And now the uh, person next to me got these sliders, which look like a good option. I decided to go with some she crab soup. So the soup's looking all nice and creamy. There seems to be quite a nice amount of crab in here. So she crab soup is uh, definitely um, something I've had many times before. It's uh, certainly not a gumbo or a turtle soup, but it's a good seafood option. Okay, it's got a nice creamy soup flavor to it. It's uh, definitely more in the chowder area of the seafood spectrum, I would say. But uh, this is a pretty good version of a sheep crab soup. So uh, nothing really to say about it other than, uh, hey, it's going down easy. The flavors are good, nicely balanced. Here's uh, my last bite here already, so it's like I totally destroyed the she crab soup. 
go ahead and destroy the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this soup. And we're down there. Check out the link to my Patreon account because, hey, I work for tips. So I appreciate any help with that. Next up, I've got the broiled seafood collection with a stuffed flounder, a local shrimp, scallops, deviled crab, coastal rice, and I got some roasted vegetables, which in my case, I got the sweet potato. Look at these nice scallops here. Mmm, they're going down very nicely. And this filet of flounder here looks really beautiful. And I have to say, all the seafood on this plate tastes way better than the last plate. A lot more uh, seasoning on here. Everything seems to be cooked a lot more than my preference. The shrimp are going down easy. They've got a lot of nice butter flavor on here. So it's always good to have some seafood and delicious butter, of course. So everything is cooked perfectly well and uh, some nice flavors on here. Certainly way, way, way more tame and some New Orleans style seafood. And uh, hey, you know, that's still good though, because we still get sticky flavors. Again, really excellent vegetables here were uh, prepared, so they certainly do excellent vegetables in this restaurant. Now I'm a little upset that my potato did not come with any butter. Uh, I don't know why they don't seem to want to serve sweet potato butter around these parts, but I would say my feedback is always do some nice melted butter with your sweet potato, maybe even a little molasses. Uh, not sure why they are averse to giving me any butter to go with my sweet potatoes. And then these scallops, perfectly prepared. They have a lot of good flavor. Very happy with those. This double crab has lots of crab meat inside of it. There's really not that much breading, so it's more meat and bread. It's really well cooked, it's really well prepared, everything has nice flavors in here. So this is definitely a great piece of seafood platter option to go with if you're really hungry and want some good bites of seafood. Everything on this platter was certainly prepared very nicely and it's got more flavor than anything else I've tried so far. So definitely this double crab here. Very nicely done, chocolate crab, no shortage or desire to add anything extra to it. And the shrimp are perfectly cooked and nice flavors and all that nice butter sauce dripping all over it. And certainly I um, can't complain about anything on this plate that I could possibly improve on in any way other than maybe Make it a little more spicy for my personal taste preferences, but overall everything is prepared perfectly. So this is the best plate of food so far, so the uh, boiled seafood collection and fried seafood collection might be the items to focus on when you visit here if you want to get a really good sampling of several different items. Okay, I'm a little sad, I'm going to have some light of flounder here. Flounder is way better than my heat, surprisingly enough, and um, definitely I've destroyed this plate of food. So destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this wonderful plate of food. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account, because hey, I work for tips, and I appreciate any assistance with that. So thanks so much to everybody at Poseidon for this last meal that was really good. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nola Gent channel, especially to my Patreons. So make sure to share this video with any of your friends or contacts and would enjoy it as that really would help me. And I really do appreciate it. And make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nola Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.